Greetings and salutations to you all my good chums. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming and welcome back to Fallout Friday and Fallout 4 Rebuild the Colonies. First and foremost, I would like to apologise that there was no episode last week. Uh, you may be able to tell from my voice I have been a little bit under the weather. Uh, pretty much lost my voice for most of last week, so just getting back into it now. But uh, yeah, I apologise for that. Uh, hopefully we should be back to a regular schedule from now on. Also, as you can see, this is what Liz Windsor is looking like. Now I've done some stuff off the of screen. I went back and I cleaned out um, the satellite array Olivia and I cleaned out the Corvega factory. So both of those have been completely strip mined now. Not one item remains in either of those locations. And I have come back here. I have upgraded armor, weapons, everything like that that I need to. And what's more, I have also gone around and spoken to Trash Can Carla and went to the Drumlin Diner and did some trading, got some more materials because we were running out of some materials. But what are we going to do today? Well, today, I think what we're going to do is we are going to take on our first storyline mission. We are going to go and do fire support. We're going to go and meet Paladin Dance. We're going to get that part of the quest all up and running and started. But first first before that we need to go back to Abernathy and uh, Ten Pines Bluff and finish off a little bit of stuff there. I have managed to get in my inventory some uh, shipments of concrete and wood so hopefully we should be able to do that. But first 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 we have four level ups that we need to do so I actually do need to be doing them and I had a great piece of advice from one of you lovely people in the audience who said that maybe I should be investing a little bit into some of my sneak skill because uh, early on in the game that means that I'm not going to be using as much ammo which means that I can kind of save money on trading for ammo and things like that so i think that what we might do first and foremost is get our agility bumped up a couple of levels and then one in sneak and then we'll go where see where we go from there so i think i'm going to take a couple of points in agility so that then i can invest one into sneak or oh, we can go straight up to sneak two already hmm Maybe, but I think I want to go for Fortune Finder first. I want to get these two sorted out. So that then we're not wasting money on purchasing and stuff, which is also why we went into the sneak as well. So I can get some more uh, crits and hopefully take some more people out before they even spot us. Hmm... Need armorer, need blacksmith, but I don't need them just yet. Need local leader, but I don't need that just yet either. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for fortune finder. Because at least that way we're going to get some more money as well. Then I can go for Scrounger as well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, that's all done and dusted. So we got that part of it out of the way. Next thing, we need to head over to Abernathy. Because there is something very, very important I forgot to do there whilst we were there rebuilding it. And that is, of course, one of these beauties right here. We need to claim this for king slash queen. It's in the future, so I don't know if it'll be a king or queen at that point. But for king or queen of country. And there you are. That was a very, very important thing that we missed here. That has now been rectified. <sighs> there we go. This is claimed in the name of his or her majesty of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. There we go. Important thing, wait, whoa, I didn't want to do that. 
I forgot I'm still in the menu. I'm gonna close that to keep you protected. Right, now we need to head over to Tempines Bluff and we need to finish off the fence over there quickly. So here we are at Tempines Bluff and I have those shipments that I can put in. Don't know why I ran all the way around here, but hello Lucas, how are you? Uh, I don't think I have anything to sell at the moment. I've pretty much cleared myself out. Oh, gunfire. Where's that coming from? Over in this direction. What's happening? Nothing down there. Seems to have stopped now. Huh. I don't know what was going on there. There was definitely some gunshots going on. Maybe we'll investigate later, but I don't know exactly where they were coming from because I can't see anything. Oh well, never mind. Yes, I had those uh, shipments. I got a shipment of concrete and a shipment of wood as well then I can just drop in here store all of my junk in there I also picked up some more potatoes but I don't think I need to plant anything here because you've got enough in fact I could probably harvest yours and drop them off at my next destination and at least then we'll have some plants that we can plant ready just in case it's not somewhere that has plants that I can harvest and replant straight away. Good to keep it on me. Right, okay, so got those shipments in there, which means we should now be able to finish this wall. Where did I get to? So it's only a few more sections. There shouldn't be that many. So uh, yeah, hopefully we should have the wood to cover that now. Fences, jump fence. No, I don't have steel. Ah. Balls. Okay, so you're still going to have to wait without a fence, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. I uh, I know that's a pain in the ass, but uh, I forgot I needed steel, I'm afraid. So, yeah, let's um, forget about that for the time being then. And uh, oh, what we can do, actually, while we're here is we should be able to claim this for ourselves so where are we there we are and there we are this is claimed in the name of his or her majesty of great britain and northern ireland I claim this settlement of Tempines Bluff and it will become part of the great colony of Massachusetts once again. Ah, oh, it just brings a tear to your eye, doesn't it? <laughs> so goddamn beautiful. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, let us head over to the Cambridge Police Station and we will get fire support underway. So here's something, uh, we were going to discuss this a little bit later on, but uh, so far, I've uh, just bumped into Gene on the way through to uh, to Cambridge Police Station, and he is selling a dog, so we are going to cover this briefly now, and I will get into it a little bit more when we um, get to that point, but here's an opportunity that I can't really turn up, so... Um, I, at one point, when settlements get big enough and when we look to increase them and the population is, is, is large enough and they move up in stages, each settlement will get a guard dog. Now, most of you who've played this game know exactly how I'm going to go about that. But here's an opportunity that we can't turn up now. So I am going to buy this dog. You've got a deal. Oh, yeah. You sure? I mean, she's a great dog. Don't get me wrong. I just don't want to sell her to anyone who isn't going to take good care of her. Uh, well, you know, I, I am take going to. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. You look like you won't need her or anything. 
So, you really want to buy him? Yes, I do, indeed. Yes, I really want to buy your dog. Okay. But you have some place for her to live, right? Absolutely. Um, each, like I said, each settlement is going to get their own guard dog. Um, once they get to a certain size. Now, no settlements are at that size at the moment, but I already do have dog meat at Sanctuary. And this is, like I said, is a, is a, an event that I couldn't really turn up because I can get another dog, so that's fine. Um, like I said, most of you who've played this game know where I'm going to be getting the dogs from on a regular basis, but this was just something I wanted to touch on. We're going to go into more detail a little bit and like what level they need to be at in order to get a dog... Uh, as we get to that point, but we aren't there yet. But I just wanted to introduce this to you right now, so that when uh, you randomly see that uh, Abernathy has a dog, then you will be able to know why Abernathy has a dog. You know, and you'll be like, "Well, where'd that dog come from? Why is it there?" Blah blah blah. I just wanted to tell you this little bit but yeah we'll get into more information about the specifics and details a little bit later on but sanctuary and abernathy are all already going to have a dog now so there we go uh, i guess that'll have to be okay, okay. what do you mean that'll have to be okay shut up it's a great place to live it's part of the great commonwealth of massachusetts now go on now you you be a good girl bye bye i uh i gotta go you take care of her all right I mean, I'm not going to, but yeah. So there you go. So we have a new junkyard dog. And uh, it is going to go head over to Abernathy. And that will be the new guard dog for Abernathy Farm. But there we go. So just a nice little event just outside this little place that uh, that I was passing through on my way to Cambridge. Uh, so yeah, now we, we, uh, now we know about the potential for guard dogs. So here we go, we're coming up on the uh, police station. You can hear the gunfire going off already. Didn't want to walk through the heart of town. So we are coming up around the back way. But yeah, you can hear all of the uh, all of the gunfire going off already. So we should be there in a moment. And then we can get involved. Now, I'm going to jump into the little hidey hole. Just so that I don't get absolutely wrecked. And we shall help out a little bit here. Okay, I'm all out with that one. That's great. Uh, could just... I should be alright behind here with the, uh, with the shotgun. But the problem is I don't seem to be doing a... Ouch. I don't seem to be doing a lot of damage with the shotgun at the moment. I'm guessing I don't have the right ranks or what have you. But, uh, yeah, we don't seem to be doing a lot with this. Like, I mean, I barely tickled him there. I guess in distance has a lot to do with it as well. But what else have I got? i got the laser musket. But that's going to um, it's gonna take a while to actually do anything. And this is a bit more of a long distance weapon, I think. I don't really like this short range. Where where are they all? They're taking their sweet bloody time to get here, aren't they? Yeah, I don't really like this from for for a, a short distance, and, and especially a, a a a swarming weapon. It's not great. Uh, Let's just go for my pipe pistol. It's fast firing. It's a bit more closer range. Are we done? I was going to say, we can't be done, surely. It's funny how they're all going for me and just ignoring dance, isn't it? Come on, hurry up. Problem is, is that yeah, the pipe the pipe pistol doesn't do a lot of damage. I just have a lot of I have a lot of ammo for it. That's the thing. That's why I'd rather use that than the 10mm right now. Because I have a lot of ammo for this. So that works better. Are we done? 
We are done. Okay, I am going to talk to Mr. Dance here. Hello. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? It's, uh, just heard your radio beacon, that's all. I just wanted to, uh, come over and help you guys out. Plus, I kind of need to get you started so that I can eventually get the Brotherhood onto the map. That's pretty much it, really, so. There are a lot of explosions going off in the background. And I'm not sure why or where they're coming from. But there was a lot of big explosions happening. Very strange. Um, I'm going to head in with complete fire support and uh, get the Arc Jet Systems mission underway. But first of all, I am going to have to loot all of these corpses before they despawn. I need everything. So uh, I'm just going to quickly loot and we're probably going to have to store a load of stuff here at the police station for the time being in a in a container. But um, I don't want it to despawn. So I'm going to get that done and then we will get the mission underway. Right, all the bodies looted. So let us head inside. Uh, like I said, we're probably going to have to store a load of this stuff in a container in here because... Uh, yeah, weight limits are going to be a bit of an issue. But... Um, yeah, I don't know how much I want to grab from Arcjet while I'm there at the time, or if I just... I, I, I mean, I'm going to go back and strip mine a load of places. I passed a load of places while I was on the way as well, so there's lots of places that now need to be strip mined as well. But, um, yeah, I don't want to carry too much weight with me for the time being because I want to obviously loot all of the um, synths in Arcjet as well because I don't want them to despawn and I want to make sure that I take everything that I possibly can off of them so I'm gonna store loads of stuff right now and then we will get the mission underway I think okay so here we go we are heading out of the police station uh, on our way to Arcjet so uh, yeah I will uh, I mean, we've all played this mission before, so we all know the, uh, what's exactly happening, don't we? I only have eight for that. Okay, that's fine. So what I think I will do is I will meet you once we get to Arcjet. And... Yeah, I'll skip large parts of it because, like I said, we've, we've, we, you know, most people have played the mission before. They know, they know what they're doing. And to be honest with you, I'm kind of happy to just let Dance do most of the stuff because I'm not really going to be um, getting involved because I want to try and keep the ammo use to a minimum because I, uh, yeah. Don't want to be wasting money on it. Also, uh, yeah, just a quick one uh, with regards to frag mines. So anyone who saw my Fallout 3 series would see how I suck with collecting frag mines. I, I, I like how much easier they made that on uh, in Fallout 4. I'd just like to point that fact out. That was quite fun because anyone who watched that saw how often I got blown up by frag mines just trying to deactivate and collect them. Uh, and it was the bane of that playthrough, yes. Okay, so here we are, Arcjet. Uh, normal stuff just on the way, although I do need to drop a load of stuff off again now because, uh, yeah, I uh, <laughs> there was a lot of stuff to loot on the way here, which was good. The, 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 the random spawns gave me like seven or eight uh, items, you know, things to loot each which was which was great so i'm actually back up at the weight i was when i first got to the police station so the first thing we need to do when we get in here is find a storage container so i can dump a load of stuff back off again um because like i said i want to make sure that i take all of the uh the items from the synths as much as possible because yeah they're gonna despawn everything else in here will be fine but um the simps will despawn so i want to make sure that i loot them properly before we continue so i think we should be able to put everything into this uh container here so i'm just going to dump everything off quickly okay 
we are good. Let us go on, lead the way, please, Mr. Dance. And uh, yeah, as I said, most people have uh, done this mission plenty of times before. So uh, yeah, I will just skip through most of the walkthrough and we'll get to the important bits. Um, now, I don't think you can loot these, can you? Uh, oh, okay. Well, there's one I can do. Just because I'm not sure whether these despawn or not. Um, but yeah, most of them you can't loot anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. Let's, uh, yeah, there's a... Uh, I mean... That's a good thing, but I'm guessing we uh, we didn't uh, do have anything to do with this, did we? Good. Less security to worry about. Negative. There's nothing good about it. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute synths. Okay, and that's the first time we hear about the synths. So let's find out what is a synth. Synth. Isn't that the same as robot? They're an abuse of technology created by the Institute. Abominations meant to improve upon humanity. It's unacceptable. They simply can't be allowed to exist. Now, Mr. Dance, uh, I, I get that you are part of that, but uh, that uh, that kind of bigotry is not going to be uh, acceptable in my new colony, I'm afraid, my friend. So, uh, I hope that you certainly can change your philosophy on that. Otherwise, uh, I don't know if we're going to be able to find space for you in our new colony, I'm afraid, my good man. Okay, and here's our first run-in with the synths. So, our first run-in with the Institute. Now, I'm afraid that they are going to have to die for the moment because they are aggressive towards me and there is nothing I can do about that. But, as I said, in the future we are going to have to learn to get along all of us together and um, there will not be room for bigotry in my new colony I'm afraid but uh, yeah this is what I'm saying so I just want to make sure that I strip these guys of everything to begin with because um, yeah I, I don't want to um, I don't want them despawning I want to take all of their stuff stuff is very 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 important for me at the at the time being so yeah that's that that's the third the very first thing is that um junk and items are very important for me not just for the junk value that they have in order for me to actually build but you know like i said we can actually sell stuff so that's why i'm going around and i want to make sure that uh, i had the space to loot everything possible before it all despawned so yeah we're just gonna make our way through doing the usual bits and pieces you know the usual stuff and uh i will see you towards the end i would say so here we are moving into the final section yeah it is very very pretty so yeah so we're just gonna uh basically go down the uh the normal route i'm just gonna let all of the i'm gonna let as many synths as i can build up before i actually initiate anything because i obviously want to get as much stuff as i can now i i'm pretty sure that many people have discovered at some point they do start to despawn so you know there's only so far you can go with actually building them up but i'm gonna allow as many as i can to build up before i actually start that but first things first we need to head back there and get the power sorted out do we not okay so there we go so uh shut the door i'm just gonna stand here i'm just gonna watch palanid dance isn't gonna die so it's not really a problem i'm just gonna let as many spawn in as i possibly can until i start seeing maybe that they start despawning and then we will uh get some activated because the other thing is as well is i don't know if any of these can actually be legendary i'm not sure or not maybe some of these might be legendary maybe they won't i'm not entirely sure but yeah i'm just gonna stand here and just wait basically Okay, so it looks like some of them are starting to despawn now. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to push the button 
and uh, get this started because it looks like yeah some there's like one disappeared from over there so they are they're starting to uh, despawn so yeah we will just fire up the engine and let it go from there It's also good that that engine firing doesn't destroy loads of them, does it? Maybe it does, I don't know. Maybe it like reduces the amount in there or something, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, there we go. Let us go and talk to Paladin Dance before we start basically getting this entire... Yeah, there seems like there's a lot less here than uh, when I first... Yeah, I think a lot of them despawned, so... Damn. Oh, well, well, I mean, we're still going to get a really good haul out of all of this anyway, so, uh, yeah, it's not it's not too bad. But, yeah, let's talk to Dance and get this oh finished. Oh, my God. Are you all right? Got cooked by those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. The important thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. Thing is, I think it's really funny that I, uh, I like, show so much, like, concern when I'm the one that pushed the freaking button that, like, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my god, are you okay? I don't know what happened. What was all that about? Uh, anyway, yeah, let's, uh, quickly go around here and collect as much stuff as we can. I'm fairly certain quite a few of it despawned. But we'll see how much we get out of it. Not as much as I was hoping for, actually. I'm not even over encumbered. I was hoping I was going to come out of this being totally over encumbered, but yeah, I think I'm, I'm pretty sure loads despawned. There seems like there was tons that despawned, and also there is one up there somewhere that I can't get to. Yeah, he's just a. Uh, just up here that I can't get to him just yet. So, uh, yeah, but pr kind of disappointed by that. I was really hoping for a lot more. Huh. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure loads of them despawned. Like, during it. And when the engine goes off, I'm pretty sure that probably despawns loads of them as well. But, yeah. Unfortunately, um, yeah, not even over-encumbered, which is, uh, a little bit frustrating, I would say. Yeah, there he is, just there. Bloody hell, Dance, you're just obsessed, aren't you? Yeah, he's over there. I, I, I don't remember how to get around there. I don't... Can I go through there? Does this take me? No. Yeah, I don't know how to get around there. So there's one, unfortunately, that's just going to have to remain for a while. I'm pretty sure I can't make that, can I? Uh, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to make that, which means I probably need to go back down and through the lift again, right? Yeah, so I will do that and I'll get back up to the top. Yeah, and there we go. Deep Brain's transmitter all done, all finished, and yeah, I'm, I'm kind of I'm a little bit disappointed. Leaving here not even over encumbered. I was really hoping I was going to be over encumbered and I'd have to store some stuff in a in a storage container somewhere. But yeah, none. That was uh, a little bit disappointing. But yeah, let's uh, let's go to dance and let's get righteous authority picked well, up at least. That could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Yep, I I agree. But uh, see if I can pass the check, get some XP. Let's see. Smoother. I thought we did fine. That sweet was sloppy. Yeah, okay. There you go. Got some XP, so that's fine. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished it. See, now you're saying yeah, you definitely couldn't have accomplished it alone because you're saying we were caught unprepared. No, 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 no. No. You were caught unprepared loads of times. Because you just went barreling on ahead. And just went in and just like you know, I, I, I was at the back. I was chill. I was calm. You know, you're the one that was just running around like a bloody loose cannon. But yeah, anyway, we did fine, I guess. But yeah, you're um, 
You're the one that caused all the problems there, you know. Don't start blaming that on me. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. I think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. May it serve you well in battle. And there we go. Righteous authority. Nice. We will keep hold of that for ourselves. But there we go. Uh, yeah, that was fine. Uh, we are all done. And we are fine with that. And this mission is entirely completed. So, um, yeah, that was... a. Uh, that was fine and dandy, but like I said, a bit disappointed that we didn't come out with more, but I should I should have plenty of stuff now that hopefully we can either scrap or sell. Now, I have been scrapping everything I've picked up so far because it's all just been pipe rifles and stuff like that. It's all been pipe stuff, so I've been happy for the steel and the, and the wood, which is fine, but I think with these weapons, I'm probably going to sell them um, and get the money for it so that I can buy scrap and things like that right now because I think with the higher value weapons what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until I get scrapper and then I'll be able to get more out of them so right now I think for the high value stuff like all the laser rifles and laser pistols and everything that we've just picked up I'm probably just going to sell them to get some more money so that I can buy more junk, I think, right now. So, yeah, that's that's probably what we're going to be doing. But we came out with a... Uh, wrong button. We came out with quite a fair amount of stuff. I mean, 19 uh, automatic pistols, uh, 24 normal pistols, one, one rifle. I thought I picked up more than that. Uh... Automatic Institute pistol. Yeah, we 16 shock batons. We came out with a fair amount of stuff. But yeah, I was hoping for more. I really was. But I guess that'll do for now. Uh, we came with two level ups as well, which is really good. But uh, we will get to that next time, I think. But yes, not a bad little haul for today. I suppose we should be able to get some decent money out of all of that. And we also have quite a few more destinations that we now have to strip mine for goods and services. So yeah, the route from um, Ten Pines Bluff down to the police station, first of all, past a few places there. So we've got them on our map now so I can go back and strip mine those places. We now have Arcjet and the police station as well. We can go into Cambridge, clean out Cambridge of all the ghouls and start to strip mine that area as well. So quite a few places that now need to be strip mined. But uh, that will be something that I probably do most of the time off of the camera. But sometimes if there isn't really anything we can do until we need to move on, I, I might do some of that on camera so you can see some of the things that I have to fight in order to clean those places out as well. Some episodes in and of their own right can actually just be strip mining episodes. So for instance, some of the places that I passed, we can go to and strip mine all in one go because there's a few places that are not actually cleaned out. Cambridge, for instance, that can be an episode in and of itself, cleaning out Cambridge and strip mining it at the same time. But that is something for future Richard to consider. President Richard, for the moment, is going to thank you all for joining him today. I uh, certainly hope that you join him next time. But until then, wants to bid you all adieu, a good day, and a massive GG to you all. Thank you everybody for watching. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Then check out this video suggested for you, or watch this playlist to discover more from the channel. You can also join our Discord or follow us on X, formerly Twitter, to stay up to date with all the happenings with this show and others. And why not join our Patreon for early access and lots of other member-only bonuses. All links can be found in the description to this episode, and a big thank you to all of this month's Patreons on screen now. This has been a Rich Tea Entertainment production.